Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Black Mirror Blade Runner Edition. <laughs> I'm kidding, but this is an AI video and this one is about WorldCoin, the new WorldCoin project by the people over at OpenAI. And now you can actually go and sign up and prove that you are in fact a human and not a bot. That's right, the burden of proof appears to be on you, a human, to prove that you are actually what you say you are. We are in a crazy world and it is getting crazier. Let me tell you all about it. All right, so what essentially is happening is OpenAI has installed football-sized WorldCoin scanning devices in various locations. Apparently, it's in Britain a lot and a variety of locations in Britain and 19 other countries. And these devices are used to scan irises to create a unique digital record known as a world ID. Yes, if you guys thought that that uh, WEF stuff and the, and the, you know, there's these world Illuminati type stuff was all fake and nonsense. Well, I don't know. This is kind of pushing me in the direction of thinking maybe there's something there to it. All right, so maybe you're not convinced yet. Sounds kind of crazy. You're probably thinking, well, who the heck would want to sign up for something like this? Well, let me tell you, there are two million sheep, I mean people, <laughs> that have, uh, have already queued up for it. And there are currently three pop-up sites just in London alone, two million signups. And apparently, I guess you get 25 cryptocurrency tokens and they're valued at like a dollar fifty-six euro or something like that. So maybe that's the price of giving away uh, all your 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 ID and proving you're a human. But uh, yeah, this is apparently happening, and it's just getting started. So there's probably going to be a lot more people queuing up. And yeah, cue the James Bond villain music. So maybe you're one of the people that have signed up, or you're thinking about signing up. You're on the fence. And, you know, I mean, that $1.56 euro sounds great and all, but, I mean, really, let's think about the security and the privacy issues. Like, first off, who owns the information? Open AI? They're a private company. Do they give access to a investor like Microsoft? Can the government access this legally and or illegally, as they tend to do, as we all know? I'm looking at you, United States. I see you. <laughs> I mean, what about uh, hack proof? I mean, who can this be? Uh, put forward under a warrant. Do you have? Would the come? Would OpenAI have to give the information to the government or to authorities if requested? Can this be hacked? Can you know countries that are perhaps we're not at war with, but countries that we're in competition with? Can they have access to this? Is this going to open and just sit in a in an open database, or is this going to be like? There's so many questions here. Like what? And what was the point? Like, do we really live in a society that we have to prove that we are in fact human? I don't know. It, it seems kind of twilight. Blade Runner to me, way out there. I don't know. I look forward to your thoughts. Like, let me know what you think. But for me, it just it just sounds crazy. And I mean, what are the other things like fraud fraud protection? I mean, I'm not too sure how the heck that's going to go down. And voter ID is that what the thing is? We all know the U.S. doesn't do voter ID. <laughs> so I mean, honestly, there's so many things here. There's so many questions. So many security concerns. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. I look forward to your thoughts. I'll read them all. Thanks.